Courtney and I am back with another video. I want to take the time out to welcome my new subscribers. Mm, subscribers, welcome my new subscribers. So welcome if you're new. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I want to talk about the time, the first time I heard from God and I, I knew it was him. Like it was so clear, I knew. Like, and I'm not saying this is the first time God has spoken to me, but I will say this is the first time that I knew. It might've been the first time. Yeah, the first time I knew he spoke. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that like button and make sure you comment if you can because my comments are disabled for some reason. But yeah, I am currently on my break at work break at work. So I got to quick do this video really, really, really quick. But this story, this is so special to me. Like this story is so special because um, the way it happened, how it happened, what he said, literally, I was toe slam up, y'all. I'm going to be honest. I was toe up and it was so special and so pure like god himself is and anyway let me go ahead and get to it so as you know i am single right you know i'm single and i've been single for like four years so i had had such a extremely weak moment and i was just so vulnerable to god like i was so weak and i was just like god nobody understands and i was i was literally <laughs> like crying just like that y'all <laughs> I know God was like, I was in a very bad place. Like, I didn't understand. Like, you know, I had people in my ear like, just enjoy your singleness and this and that and that. And I was like, true indeed. But in this moment, I'm having a weak moment because it's not easy. And um, I was crying and I was literally, so I was driving. I was in the car and I was telling God, I was just like, I want someone that's not going to play games. I want someone that's going to respect my feelings, respect me. Someone that's going to love me unconditionally. Somebody that's going to love me purely and wholeheartedly and be on my side and be on my team and like respect me and value me. And they're for me. They'll always love me no matter what, no matter what I do, they'll love me. And like, I was just, and I was just telling God y'all and I was a wreck and I felt I felt horrible for myself I was really in a bad place like I wasn't even playing I was hurt so while I was driving I got closer to my house and I tried to get myself together so nobody would see me like this like I was seriously in one of the roughest places of my life as far as my adulthood and like dating because that's important to me because I've always desired to be married but this time I'm like throughout my singleness not the whole time but for the majority of the time I've been trying to be intentional with my singleness and just be intentional but it got really hard to the point I was just like God is something wrong with me like and you know I just like I just said I request all those things like somebody that's gonna love me regardless somebody that's gonna be on my team on my side they're for me they love me unconditionally and as I was pulling up in my driveway and I was telling God those exact thoughts in that moment about what I wanted in a man, literally, as I was pouring my heart out to God and just naming all those things I wanted, I was just like, I've, nobody ever wants to give me that and no one loves me that way. Or well, a man never purely loves, like, you know, just being, you know, and God literally said to me, he was, I, I said, I want somebody to love me purely in that way. And God literally said to me, I do. He was like, I do. I love you that way. Everything you just described is how I feel about you. <sighs> Y'all, in that moment, I could care less about a husband. And it's like, those are the things that you, it's common sense. Like, you know, God feels that way about you. And everything is every some is common sense, but in those moments you don't care about common sense. To hear God literally reaffirm and make just let, reminded me. I don't care how anybody else felt about it. Like you should know that in that moment, sometimes that stuff does not kick in. It doesn't register. And I I love God so much for that. I love Him for not allowing me to have one of those moments. Or matter of fact, He let He let me have my moment and reminded me that. In the, even in this, even while you feel alone and you feel like it's not working out, I'm still in the midst of this and I am for you and I love you unconditionally. Those things that you want from someone else, I give you. That's what God told me. Like, I give you. I feel that way about you. You are perfect to me. I love you. You are my child. You're my daughter. And I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> I knew that, but just to be, just be reaffirmed or reassured, it meant everything to me. Like, it meant everything more than anything to me so i really hope this video helps someone to remember that 
it's it to be honest it's hard to hear that like of course god loves me he's supposed to but when you really get in that moment and realize that even in those lonely moments where you desire a mate and it seems like you gotta have that to have that person on your team or have someone or something on your team even when you and your husband even when you and your husband and your spouse fall out god is still going to be there god is there either way god is there all the time so even when i get a husband when i get the things that i pray for i'm thankful that god reassured me that he he wants what's best for me he is all of those things for me he's more than anything anything any person that i could ask for he's those things for me already <laughs> and i'm just sitting here like thank you god for that it's small but thank you thank you for the reminder that you are more than everything so in those moments if you are single or if you feel lonely in a moment or you don't feel good enough i literally heard god say that that was not something i was just just a reminder like oh just remember god loves you no he literally reaffirmed that for me and i'm sending this to you and this is god and this is god's way of reaffirming it for you if you're watching this video he loves you no matter what you do, no matter what you say. God is on your team. God is on your side. God has your back. Everything that you need, that you feel like a person has to give you, God gives you. He gives you love uncondi unconditionally. He knows the deepest things about you. and He still accepts you. He still loves you. I'm so thankful I could cry, but I'm at work in the parking lot. And these people gonna think I'm crazy. Like, thank you, God, for loving me in spite of every stupid thing I do. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. That's all I wanted to remind you. This is, I believe this is from God to you, using me to get to you or to speak this to you. No matter what you do, God loves you no matter anything. Like this is, this is your reminder to be patient, wait on God. I don't have anybody right now. So it's not like I'm a person that just got in a relationship and I'm trying to tell you. I'm still waiting on God. God loves you. Even in those moments of loneliness, God is with you. Even in those moments of doubt, self-hate, God loves you with everything. God loves you. He loves everything about you. Submit to him. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. I pray this touched someone's heart. Thank you guys for watching the entire video. I love you. God loves you.